This is Speak My Word Ministries, Travis Zimmerman. The Daily Pulse Day is about joy and sorrow and in life. Happy Mother's Day. It's a joyous day to celebrate our mothers. To all you mothers out there, thank you. You've got the one, most wonderful job in the world. I would say Dad's second. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Thank you, Suzanne, for being a mother to our children. Thank you, Mom, for being a mother to Eric and me. And thank you, all you mothers out there. This day is also a day of sadness. It marks the first anniversary of my father's passing. He passed at 10 o'clock p.m. on Friday, May 13th. And we miss him like crazy. And I just wanted to go into scripture with you now into a very comforting but very practical and just, just very realistic view of, of life on earth. And it's from probably my favorite, one of my favorite uh, Old Testament people, Solomon. He just the man he had great wisdom yet he had great faults and he just represents the struggles that we face here on earth so i just want to go into solomon's words here in ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 through 8 and it's it's basically a discussion of the contrasts on this earth this is a time for everything ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 through 8 there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 through 8 and Solomon talking about the contrasts that we experience on this earth. It is a great day of celebration for mothers everywhere. It's also a remembrance for the Zimmerman family for a loss of the the the, the, uh, the patriarch in our life, my dad, and what a great man he is and was. And Father, we know you're with him right now, and he is loving it. We miss him, but Lord, if it can be any more joyous than being with you in heaven, it would be one more reason to say, to, to, to look forward to, to meeting you face to face. In Jesus' name, amen.